Many are the tales told of the Blackadder and of his faithful henchmen, Lord Percy Percy and Baldric, son of Robin the Dungatherer. But none is told so oft with so much hitting of heads in wonder and repeating of exciting parts as this, the final chapter in the book of... England, 1498, St. Juniper's Day, the day on which the king would lavish new honours upon his kinfolk. St. Juniper once said, by his loins shall ye know him, and by the length of his rod shall he be measured. The length of my rod is a mystery to all but the queen and a thousand Turkish whores. <laughs> but the fruits of my loins are here for all to see. I have two sons. Harry and another one. <laughs> Step forward, Harry, Prince of Wales. Harry, I hereby name thee Captain of the Guard, Grand Warden of the Northern and Eastern Marchers, Chief Lunatic of the Duchy of Gloucester, Viceroy of Wales, Sheriff of Nottingham, Marquis of the Midlands, Lord Pomaker in Ordinary, and Harbinger of the Doomed Rat. <laughs> Step forward, the other one. <laughs> now, my titles have been but few. Duke of Edinburgh and Warden of the Royal Privy. So, my lord. Now, we thank thee, Egbert, for thy work in Edinburgh. Know now that we do relieve thee of thy heavy task and give the dukedom to our loyal cousin, Hastings. Uh, many happy returns, Tom. <laughs> Thus am I discharged the dukes of Juniper. Chiswick, fresh horses, we ride at once to rebellious Stoke, where it is my sworn intent to approach the city walls, bear my broad buttocks, and shout, Behold, I honour thee, well, it could have been worse, my lord. Yeah, there was a moment there, I thought you were going to lose the privy. <laughs> Someone to tend your horse, then? No, and even if I did, I wouldn't take you. I mean, look at you. What is your profession? God, a retired Morris dancer. That's all I need. Well, if you can keep up, you can come.
if he comes now. Wilfred Dale. Your tyranny is now at an end. Prepare to be strung by your codlings from the bowl of my tray. Sir Wilfred Death. Edmund! Looking for some men to take over the kingdom. How many have you got so far? <laughs> so, we are agreed. He who wins takes the horse. Hey. Here is our mark. You shoot first. But in fact, I'm going to have to... Oh! Good evening! And surrender. Your money or your life. Here, take it. It's all the money I have. Thank you. Now... Let me pass. I'm always doing this. Did I say your money or your life? You did. Sorry. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> your money and your life. <laughs> Thanks, Ned. That's it. <laughs> Guy. Wilfred. Now, what we need... Real bastard. <laughs> Sean, the Irish bastard. <laughs> Pity the blind, sir. Pity the blind, kind sir. Business is very quiet this morning. Ah, oh, everyone's gone to lunch, I think. <laughs> sure. Frau, I fear her greatly for her chastity. Alas, such is the way of the world. The sweetest rose too often is plucked too soon. Yes. I wondered if you would take her while I'm gone. Yes. The answer is yes. I shall. Barbellos! Doing the Lord's work. I'm just administering extreme action. So, who shall be our seventh, Wilford? Why need I say? Jack. That mad bully boy, Jack, a grave robbing assassin of Aldwych. Yeah. Then crazed animal, Jack, the kettle rustling cannibal from Southern Gulfia. <laughs> yeah. Then your man, Saint Jack O'Hooligan, the man hating goat murderer of Dingle Bay. Yeah. Surely not Canon Jack Smollett, senior archdeacon of the Diocese of St. Botan, the entry leasing heretic of Barton Wells. <laughs> I'm talking of unspeakably violent Jack. The bull buggering beast killer of her fixed away. Are you sure he's the kind of chap we're looking for? Yes. And here he comes.
you are so little. <laughs> Why not little Jack, then? Well, because large Jack is more amusing. <laughs> is it? Very well, then. Little Jack. Is <laughs> <laughs> not my size? No, 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 no. No, of course not. I'm in keep up. Some more beer. Hooray! Six large beers and... Uh, and another large beer. Hooray! Let us then go on to the plan. The plan. A motto for our enterprise. Hooray! Blessed are the meek. Hooray! For they shall be slaughtered. Hooray! Wait, 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 the plan. You've forgotten the plan. I thought that was the plan. Let's get those meat bastards now. Quiet! Who wants quiet? And I want chaos! And slaughter! Flowers! Ah! What? <laughs> Mercilessly crushed underfoot! I want silence! Christ, sake, let's hear the plan. Very well. The plan is simple. I thought it was cunning. Oh, oh, the plan. Plan. Well, it's cunning and it's simplest. <laughs> Tonight, I ride for home. I say strike now while the iron is hot. But the iron isn't hot. Isn't it? No, it's just uh, warming up. But when it is hot, then we will strike. What? Oh, we're going to have to wait till summer. <laughs> and then the iron is hot. What iron? <laughs> then, boy, how would agree? I shall send for you all. How? Well, by a message, a sign. What sort of sign? Well, um, something black, probably. Mm. Black pudding. <laughs> right. uh, messenger with the black plate, perhaps. <laughs> yes, that's better. He means to kill us. <laughs> and a messenger with, with, with black hair. <laughs> ah! A black-headed messenger! <laughs> and when he comes to you, drop whatever you are doing and speed with all haste to Jasper's tavern. Hey! Oh, no, well, how is old Jasper these days? Dead. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> from, there, from there, I shall take you to the castle where we will capture the king and the queen hey! and the prince. Hey! And then I'll say to them, the kingdom of Albion is ours. Hey! You are doomed to lives of exile. Get out! <laughs> yes? Exile? For life? But why didn't we just kill them? <laughs> I suppose we could kill them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait till I send the sign. If I get a messenger with blackheads all over his face, <laughs> it isn't a trap. Because. The black adder gives you his word. We want your word, not this black adder, fellows. But I am the black adder. <laughs> oh, I see. And when all is done, the black seal shall rule England. Hey! Hey! We few, we happy few, we band of ruthless bastards. Hey! All for one. Very good, my lord. Oh, yes. No one can stop me now. Uh, no one? No, no one. Except perhaps... No, not even him. And who might that be, my lord? Well, there was a man, Philip of Burgundy, known to his enemies as the Hawk. We were deadly childhood rivals. Although, of course, in those days, he was known as... The thrush. <laughs> but no one's heard of him for years. Oh, come on, let's go. We've got work to do. Talk so fast, then, you better. This hawk, he looks something like this. Really, no. <laughs> oh my God, Philip of Burgundy, known to my enemies as the Hawk. But, but your horse used to be a huge brown. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Well, it's been very good to see you. 
Phil? <laughs> this time, not fast enough. <laughs> what do you want with me? I'll tell you later. <laughs> Return at last after 15 years. And, and what have you been up to? Waiting, plotting, nurturing my hatred and planning my revenge. Ah, so you've kept yourself busy. Yes. <laughs> 15 years in France teaches a man to hate. 15 years of wearing perfume. 15 years of eating frogs. 15 years of saying pardon. <laughs> All because of you. But surely the scenery. I never went outside. I call stamps. <laughs> what has all this got to do with me? Because, Edmund, it is going to take you 15 years to die. Senior? Yes. How? I think it might be more amusing if you found out for yourself. Let us just say it has something to do with... Snail. sell these six black homing pigeons I've got in the back here, that's where. Black homing pigeons? Well, mostly. <laughs> How much are they? Six shilling. <laughs> Damn! But I suppose if you beat me and gag me and tie me to that tree over there, you can have them for less. <laughs> right. <laughs>
striking of ten bells, I shall claim the throne. <laughs> thing. If these men are indeed, as they seem to be, the six most evil men in the land... Uh, yes, uh, they are. Your last sentence, please. Then they've made a pretty damn peculiar choice for their leader, haven't they? My Lord Warden of the Privies. <laughs> you think they should have chosen you? Thrush? <laughs> a man twisted by unbridled ambition? A man tortured by insatiable greed? Oh. The most evil man in the world? Oh. Do you think they should have chosen you? I certainly killed mine. And I killed mine. And I killed yours. Did you? Yes. Good on your father. Yes! yes. 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 Prepare to die. Yes. Wait. I have a more amusing method. Amusing for whom, I wonder. Gentlemen. Oh! oh. 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 In precisely one minute, the spike will go up your nethers. The shears will cut off your ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then these axes will chop off your hand. <laughs> and I do not think we need go into the attributes of the cuddling grinder. <laughs> these feathers here will tickle you under what's left of your arm. <laughs> and that is the amusing part. <laughs> Let us go and slaughter all the rest of the royal family. God save the king! Because nobody else will! Stop. First, let us relieve these wenches of their delightful burden and drink a toast to our enterprise. May good thrive! All our dead bodies! <laughs> Chances are. Oh, good. Good. He will live. Hmm? Oh, no. Sorry, I thought you meant your chances of going to heaven. <laughs> Damn. Never fear, my son. Your body may be mutilated beyond recognition, but your spirit will live forever. My lords. What did you say? I give you Edgar. The poison the black seals got it's not poison the whole fact. Here they are. Hey, what are you? The black dagger. <laughs> May his name last as long as our dynasty. <laughs> If it was the wine. <laughs> no, 
know. Seems perfectly all right to me. And now, at last, I shall be king of it. <laughs> This Blackadder fellows! But I am the Blackadder. <laughs> oh, I see. And when all is done, the Black Seal shall rule England. Oh, oh. We few, we happy few, we band of ruthless bastards. Oh. All for one. And he's mad for himself. <laughs> You're in a merry mood, my lord. Oh, yes. No one can stop me now. Uh, no one? No, no one. Except perhaps... No, not even him. And who might that be, my lord? Well, there was a man, Philip of Burgundy, known to his enemies as the Hawk. We were deadly childhood rivals. Although, of course, in those days, he was known as... The thrush. <laughs> but no one's heard of him for years. Well, oh, come on. Let's go. We've got work to do. Hark so harsh, can you, but uh, This hawk, he looks something like this. Really, no. <laughs> oh my God, Philip of Burgundy, known to my enemies as the Hawk. But, but your horse used to be a huge brown. <laughs> yes, that's the one. <laughs> well, it's been very good to see you, uh, Phil. <laughs> This time, not fast enough. <laughs> what do you want with me? I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> I return at last after 15 years. And, and what have you been up to? Waiting, plotting, nurturing my hatred and planning my revenge. Ah, so you've kept yourself busy. Yes. <laughs> 15 years in France teaches a man to hate. Fifteen years of wearing perfume. Fifteen years of eating frogs. Fifteen years of saying pardon. All oh, because of you. But surely, the scenery... I don't go out outside. I can't stand this. <laughs> what has all this got to do with me? Because, Edmund, it is going to take you fifteen years to die. Senior? Yes. How? I think it might be more amusing if you found out for yourself. Let us just say it has something to do with... Snail. Take it. 
It's all the money I have. Thank you. Now, let me pass. I'm always doing this. Did I say your money or your life? You did. Sorry. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> your money and your life. <laughs> Thanks, Ned. See you Thursday. <laughs> Guy! Wilfred! Now, what we need is a real bastard. <laughs> Sean! The Irish bastard! <laughs> Pity the blind, sir. Pity the blind, kind, sir. Here, business is very quiet this morning. Ah, right, everyone's gone to lunch, I think. <laughs> greatly for her chastity. Alas, such is the way of the world. The sweetest rose too often is plucked too soon. Yes. I wondered if you would take her while I'm gone. Yes. The answer is yes. I shall. work. I'm just administering extreme action. <laughs> so, who shall be our seventh, Wilford? Why need I say? Jack. <laughs> that mad bully boy, Jack, a grave robbing assassin of Aldwych. Yeah. Then crazed animal, Jack, the cattle rustling cannibal from Southern <laughs> Gulf <Gophilia. laughs> No. And your man, Saint Jack O'Hooligan, the man hating goat murderer of Dingle Bay. No. Surely not Canon Jack Smollett, senior archdeacon of the Diocese of St. Botha, the entry leasing heretic of Barton Well. No. I'm talking of unspeakably violent Jack, the bull buggering <laughs> beast killer of the fixed away. <laughs> Sure, he's the kind of chap we're looking for. Yes. <laughs> and here he comes. the tales told of the Blackadder and of his faithful henchmen, Lord Percy Percy and Baldric, son of Robin the Dungatherer. But none is told so oft with so much hitting of heads in wonder and repeating of exciting parts as this, the final chapter in the book of... St. Juniper's Day, the day on which the king would lavish new honours upon his kinfolk. St. Juniper once said, by his loins shall ye know him, and by the length of his rod shall he be measured. The length of my rod is a mystery to all but the queen and a thousand Turkish whores. <laughs> but the fruits of my loins are here for all to see. I have two sons, Harry and... Another one. <laughs> Step forward, Harry, Prince of Wales. Harry, I hereby name thee Captain of the Guard, Grand Warden of the Northern and Eastern March. 
Watchers, Chief Lunatic of the Duchy of Gloucester, Viceroy of Wales, Sheriff of Nottingham, Marquis of the Midlands, Lord Pomaker in Ordinary, and Harbinger of the Doomed Rat. <laughs> Step forward, the other one. Have been but few. Duke of Edinburgh and Warden of the Royal Privy. <laughs> so, my lord. Well, we thank thee, Egbert, for thy work in Edinburgh. Know now that we do relieve thee of thy heavy task and give the dukedom to our loyal cousin Hastings. Uh, many happy returns, Tom. <laughs> Thus have I discharged the duties of Juniper. Chiswick, fresh horses, be ride at once to rebellious stroke, where it is my sworn intent to approach the city walls, bear my broad buttocks, and shout, Behold! Someone to tend your horse, then? No, and even if I did, I wouldn't take you. I mean, look at you. What is your profession? God, a retired morris dancer. That's all I need. Well, if you can keep up, you can come. over the kingdom. How many have you got so far? <laughs> so, we are agreed. He who wins takes the horse. Hey. Here is our mark. You shoot first. But in fact, I'm going to have to... Good evening. And 
surrender your money or your life. Because the Black Adder gives you his word. We were 